Welcome back, everybody. A local organization gearing up for an annual Fall River cleanup, and they need your help. The Plainville cons uh, cons Conservation Commission. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is looking for volunteers to help with the Pequabic River cleanup. We're joined by the commission uh, chairperson Marge Burris to tell us more. So Hi, first Marge. of all, thank you Hi. for being with us, and second of all, thank you for doing this because oh, hugely important work. It, it is the the bane of my existence is to see people throwing trash out oh, onto the it. highways and into the rivers, and it's just so disgusting. And well, I'm so glad you're helping to clean it up. I have to say, Scott does do beach cleanup too during yes, the summer. Yes, I do beach cleanup. Oh, cleanup. see, that's wonderful, mm -hmm. and yeah. we have we have people. People, uh, that just walk so like one of our areas has a pond and they just will walk in the mornings with their dogs and they always take That's uh, awesome. a container yeah. you know, Good. The, the, the stuff road that, that I used to live on East Mountain Road in Canton yes. and every Easter I would go out and clean the whole road Aww. from uh, from beginning to end I get out it took me about four hours five hours I'd clean up the whole road so I knew that at least the road that I was living on was nice and clean oh, that's so good tell us about this particular project and how well important this it is. particular one is the Pequabic River uh, which comes down from, I want to say, Bristol and through. I'm not real good with the, with with the formation Don't worry of it. About yeah, it. Because what I center on is the area that we're working in. Right. So we have a retention pond that's just off of Route 72. And that retention pond, with all the water and stuff that comes down, can get really, really filled up in two ways. Number one, with water, but yep. number two, the trash is unbelievable. It's so unfortunate. And I did bring some pictures of some of the things that we've picked up from different areas, mm -hmm. but it's just amazing. So my favorite one, and I think we got this from the Pequabic. Look oh, there you go. That's one of them. The chairs and the tires. And oh, that's just a part of it. Oh, you my have goodness. no idea. Yeah. You have no idea. I mean, the, my favorite was uh, the stuffed moose head. Oh. Stuffed moose head. Like taxidermy? <laughs> yeah, like taxidermy. We found him in the Pequabic River when we did one of our cleanups. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's oh, incredible. It's, it's, it's wild. We uh, found some sort of game, I think it was, that the kids told me. Uh, it was about six foot wide across a round circle mm -hmm. and it had something to do with some kind of game and it was floating in the river. Unbelievable. It, Sounds it, like uh, cornhole. Maybe cornhole? I don't know. I've seen cornhole, but cornhole, yeah. I've seen it with the squares, yeah. Yeah. not with the circles. So maybe it was cornhole. Interesting. Oh, interesting. But it's amazing how these things just float down there. And, you know, we found cups with people's names on it, uh, found the front end of, of a Ford pickup. Oh. Uh, just everything. Basically, things that don't yes. belong in. In and the river. anywhere they belong, <laughs> no. probably, you know, you need to find properly disposed of. Exactly. Yeah. So, how can people help you make sure that their area stays clean? Well, anytime you see trash, if you want to pick it up, that's always helpful. Yeah, we're much better so. than we were when they originally started uh, fining people for leaving their trash outside, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. throwing it out on the highway. Please don't I remember do that. that. And that, oh, that was terrible. Yeah. So anytime... Uh, you lost my train of thought. That's okay. I'm oh, so sorry. But that's you're okay. picking up yeah, the trash. So we're picking up at the Pequabic, and we're going to be there this weekend uh, from 9 to uh, noon. Uh, the only thing you need to bring is yourself and be adequately dressed. Okay. We do this rain or shine. Okay. You're going to um, have shine. Oh, supposedly, yes. yes. If we do have a little bit of rain or whatever, that's not too bad. If we have a monsoon, then we're not going to have the, just, At you know. At this point, you don't have to worry about and that. And we check the, the road. The area is, is fairly clean as far as the road and we've, because we've run into, um, Should people bring gloves? Should they bring? We have gloves. We have all the equipment you'll need. Um, we have the bags, the gloves. We bring a uh, coffee can in case anybody runs into sharps. Okay. Okay. Which is unfortunately, but mm -hmm. we do find yep. them sometimes. Yep. Um, we have wheelbarrows. <laughs> we have rakes. You got it all. We got, got it, it all. all. Just and make we, sure we'll that carry it. people can just, show up. If people want to show up and just come adequately dressed. Okay. Perfect. You know? Perfect. Well, thank you, Marge. We so appreciate yeah, your time. Yeah, we hope thank that people And God bless you for doing this. I know. This. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. What a wonderful effort. So, um, again, if you're looking to help, all that information is up on your screen, and people can just show up. Yes. All right. Fantastic. And if they have an hour, that's fine. And if they have three hours, Even that's better. wonderful. Exactly. Yes. Either way is fine. Thank all you. Right.